everyone, it's Florence again. Welcome to a musical Wednesday. Today is actually a Wednesday and the reason I'm making this video on Wednesday is because I didn't go to school. Yes. Because it's the time of the year when I have final exams and I only go to present the exam and then I can go home. This time it's gonna be pretty different because these are gonna be the last exams I'm gonna be taking because then I'm going to college these are gonna be the last days I'll be attending high school I'm getting pretty emotional thanks to the fact that I'm on the very last days of high school our teachers have let us watch movies two of the movies that I have seen and I'm in love with them are The Age of Adeline I'm obsessed with that freaking movie. I have watched it three times. I really like how Blake Lively acts. I think she's amazing and she's beautiful. But also, I'm obsessed with Mikkel. I don't know how it's what it's the name of the actor, but it's the main actor, and I'm obsessed with him because just look at him. He's incredibly handsome. And whenever I watch a movie, I always look for the soundtrack of the movie. From this movie, there's one song that it's called Start Again by Rob Simonen. It's a pretty slow song. I usually play it when I'm reading or when I'm writing. Another song that it's featured on the movie is by Lana Del Rey, Life is Beautiful. This one is played on the trailer of the movie. I'm gonna leave you a link down below so you can watch the trailer. Because this song is beautiful, it's just about love and life. And the other movie that I saw was The Great Gatsby. I know this movie has a really long time out, but I had never watched it. We were watching it at school because I have this amazing philosophy teacher that always let us watch movies that are related with the topic we are seeing in class. So we watch The Great Gatsby, but we only watch half of the movie. And I was so interested by the story that once I arrived home, I watched the entire movie. And the songs that I really like in this movie are really different from each other. For example, the very first one and the one that I like the most is Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. I really like the lyrics, it's beautiful. Also another song that I that I think it's really catchy is A Little Party Never Kill Nobody, All We Got, that is sung by Fergie. Another song that I really like that it's featured on the Great Gatsby movie, it's Crazy in Love by Emily Sandy. I really like the rhythm they give to the song because it's quite different from the original version by Beyonce. And moving to more recent songs, I have to say that as I'm always watching TV on MTV UK, I saw this video of Jessie J singing Flashlight that is actually a song for Pitch Perfect 2. I love the video because it's about graduation and leaving behind your friends, even your boyfriend. And that is exactly what I'm going through, so I'm really related to that song. Another song that I've been listening to is Worth It by Fifth Harmony, Fit Kid Inc. And I have to admit, I'm quite surprised of myself because I used to hate Fifth Harmony. I'm sorry if you like Fifth Harmony, but I just can't stand any of those girls. Because when I watched The X Factor, I think they were so spoiled. I simply didn't like them. But this song is really catchy. I find myself dancing at it because it's really, really good. And there's also a song by Taylor Swift, Bad Blood. You know, I really like Taylor Swift. But at the moment I heard her new album, 1989, I didn't like this song. I don't know why, but I just didn't like it. But when I saw the video, I really liked the song. So now I'm listening to it every single day. 
I like Maroon 5, but now I think I am obsessed with two of their songs. One is Animals, that has a pretty long time out. And the other one is This Summer is Gonna Hurt Like a Motherfucker. This last one has a pretty explicit video where you can see Adam living without clothes. He's pretty hot, I have to admit it. Lately, I have I have found myself listening to a lot of electronic and house music. This kind of music really makes me happy and makes me dance a little every time I listen to it. So one song that I've been listening to a lot is Where Are You Now by Skrillex and Diplo with Justin Bieber. It's more or less like the lean on it's more or less ah, damn it, damn fly there's a fly in my room I hate that another song that I've been listening to non-stopping is Samsara I just like the rhythm it has because it goes from super danceable to something more slow but still danceable so I really like that another song that I've been listening to a lot is Stole the Show by Kaigo Fit Person James. The thing I like about Kaigo songs is that that kind of I don't know how to explain it, but it has a certain rhythm that makes me be happy at the moment I listen to the song. I found out that Troy Sivan had a collaboration song with Seth, so I searched the song and it's called Paper Cut. It's not that danceable, but it's still quite enjoyable. On my last Musical Wednesday, I told you my love for Lawson came back because I was obsessed with their new song, Roads. And then I saw this video of them singing Roads Acoustic. It's the most amazing acoustic song I have ever heard in my life. I just can't explain how beautiful Adam's voice sounds I'm seriously in love with this guy I think he is amazing besides he is hot as hell and he has a cute face I think he has an amazing voice I've been listening not only to Rhodes but a song called Used to be Us and another song that it's called We Are Kings so I think Lawson is back into my heart and those were all the songs that I've been listening to this past week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.